This is the research vessel Keldish, and we're positioned slap bang in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Directly beneath us now, a mile and a half down, is the very summit of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. There are literally just a handful of submersibles worldwide that are able to dive deeper than a mile. And this is one of them. It's the Mir submersible. That's Russian for peace. But what's so special about the Keldish is that on board they don't just have one Mir submersible, but two. This is the second one. We're just minutes from launch now. They're doing their final safety checks. I'll speak to you later. We are just literally minutes away now. I can feel the crane about to lift us off the, um, the ship deck here. But here we go, we're actually starting to move. Here we go, actually right over the ship now. I can see, oh, it's amazing, this. At the moment, I'm feeling a wonderful mixture of complete excitement and total terror. I mean, I've never, ever dived down to 2,300 metres, so that alone is unbelievably exciting. It's sort of a bit like the feeling I imagine you would have on top of a rocket as you're about to take off at Cape Canaveral. But where we're going is in many, many ways far more physically demanding on the technology. I mean, it's totally dark, it's very, very cold down there, and more than anything else, the thing we have to be really worried about is the absolutely enormous pressures on this submersible. Just see the last bubbles on the surface, the last bubbles of sunlight. We're bobbling around, waiting for permission to dive. That comes from the ship. Submersible's got three ports. Victor, of course, the pilot's got the largest one. We're starting to descend now, gradually. It's amazing how quickly the water gets dark. There really is very little life out this window. You see the occasional jellyfish now and again, but basically there's nothing out here. Так, People forget that the подходит. open ocean really is a biological desert. Hopefully, where we're going, right down on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, there should be life in extraordinary densities.